start to achieve that smoky eye look. And so I'm here to help give you some tips, some easy at home tips that you can use to have that great sexy smoky eye look. So first, you're going to have to have the right stuff. Pick your colors. I love products that give me more than one choice for my price. So I have the Bella Donna's. This is the Biz Midnight Azurite. And this is beautiful. I love this because it has your baseline, your cream. It's got a gold brown. It's got a purplish plum and almost a dark blue. This is amazing. Now, a lot of people think black, 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 black. And actually, especially if you're blonde, you kind of want to stay away from too much black around the eyes because then you're just going to look like a raccoon. You're going to want to go with some fun, darker colors. So it gives that dark, sexy peel, but doesn't look like, again, you're a raccoon or you have binoculars on your face or something just, just strange. So I like this La Bella Donna. It's a four shadow kit. Again, I, again the Midnight Azurite Eyeshadow Compact. Glow has them, Young Blood. There's lots of different compact colors out there. So you're going to pick your colors. You're going to want something that has a cream base, something kind of a pale, a purple, excuse me, a pale, a pearlescent base color, and then you're going to want to get some darker, fun colors along with it. You've done that. You've picked your colors. Eyeliner, same thing, dark brown, gray, blue, dark blue. You can use black. Um, I don't mind black. You use something fun, change it up. I think it's great to coordinate with a purple or blue, really make your eyes pop. So you've picked your colors, and now you're going to prep. So we're going to use a primer, like Youngblood's Mineral Primer, all over the face. You can use Glow's Face Primer, or you can actually just do a lid primer. Glow Minerals makes a lid primer. If that's all you want to prime, then that's what you do. I love the primers because they help to really put the makeup in place and keep it there. If you have oily skin, especially in the eyes, for whatever reason, you can get oily eyelids and it just looks weird. So a lid primer or any type of mineral makeup primer will help prep for that so you can prevent that weird smudging, creasing, eyeshadow greasy look that happens sometimes. So you've prepped your skin and now it's time to do your eyeliner. This is Gerda Spillman's Bio Fond Eyeliner. Now this is actually in Rich Navy and it's cool because it has the sponge so you can blend. So one end is eyeliner, one end is sponge, and Gerda Spillman is an oldie but a goodie line. And this is actually a waterproof eye pencil. This is rich navy, but when you put it on, it is it is so, so blue. It's a dark blue. It's a really pretty color. She also has a lot of colors. And then you can just use your pencil and you can just smudge it. Awesome smudging, smudging, and then you're done. So that is the Gerda Spillman Old Navy, or excuse me, Rich Navy. <laughs> Old Navy's close. Uh, rich Navy, and so any eyeliner will work. Like I said, do your eyeliner on the top, then you do the bottom, and you're going to get as close as you can on the lash line. Okay, so you're done doing your eyeliner. You've put it on the lash line, and now we're going to do some smudging with your brush or with your fingers. That works too. I like using a brush because I like using a brush. Uh, so do that, and then we're going to go with our base color for from the bottom of the lid to the top to the brow of your eyebrow, and right up here to the eyebrow, right up there all the way. That's going to give you a nice cream palette. So you have that there, and then we're going to move on to our dark colors. And we're going to actually take those dark colors with an eyeshadow brush, I like a thinner one, and you're going to start putting it over the eyeliner and around the eyes, and you're going to add a little bit more, blend, 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 add a little bit more, and you start to see that smokiness start to happen as you put the shadow on the top and on the bottom. So then you apply your mascara, did all that work, volumize those lashes, and I like, not everyone does, but this is what I use, my the bottle, and that it finishes off work. So you don't have to do so many touch-ups, did all that smoky eye work. <laughs> If you're like me, it probably took you a bit longer than you wanted. You always think, oh, it'll only take me two minutes to do my makeup. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit longer. And I, for one, don't like doing touch-ups, so I love my model bottle because it ensures that it's going to be there all night and I don't have to worry about touching it up.